Uh, so we're at the uh, Maker Fair and we are with Brian and you are the builder of this BB-8 robot. That's correct. Why do you build a BB-8 robot? I mean it's a fascinating thing obviously and it's an impressive piece of work but what got you going into doing this type of project? Right so as a, as a kid I always I grew up with Star Wars and loved it and I always wanted to have an R2 droid which I do. I had that first so he's not here today. Um, but then when the new movie came out, or actually before it came out, with the trailers, everyone fell in love with BB-8, and there was a prototype they had they showed at Celebration 7. So I fell in love with it. I've always wanted to, to, to build things from when I was a kid. I always built stuff. So and this is another opportunity for another droid. And this is all 3D printed, too, by the way. So it was a whole, something, a whole new technique that I never had done before. So I got a printer just to be able to do this project. So take me through this build. How 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 does this head sit on the top without falling off? And 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 I, just the sort of quick run through. Sure. So there's a guy in the club that actually did the 3D models. So I didn't do that part of it. I and then he provided the files. To everyone in the club, and you can print them out as you wish. This is what it looks like when it comes off the printer. So you can see the rough lines on it. This all gets filled and sanded, and then voila. You have a nice smooth finish on there. So that's how the, the body's put together. The dome's on there. It's also 3D printed. It's on there with magnets right now. And that's what's going to allow it to move once it's in motion, which is still work in progress. So next plan is to build the innards in, in the way you would see on the prototype sketches over there. That's where correct. You can have the sort of head moving in the way that it did in the film. Yeah, so the whole idea is it's going to roll. It'll be able to turn. The head will stay on top. It will be able to move left and right and circle around like in the movie. And I know the BB-8 has this builders club and you are very active on Facebook as well in, the, in, the, this, um, in this group. How much does the community mean for you in doing these types of projects? Yeah, the community means a lot. I mean, that's really our, both the clubs, both for the Astromech for the R2s as well as the BB-8. It's really an online community, a, a global community. So it's not just about the Bay Area or, or someplace else. It's really a global community. There's a lot of people there that talk about stuff. There's conversations. There's people that can help you with things when you're having trouble, whether it's problems with 3D printing or how do I paint it. Um, it's, it's really a great place to kind of an, an online community, you know, to be able to talk, talk about this kind of stuff. So it's great. If you're like nine years old and you see or hear about this and you feel like, where do I start? to be able to do these kind of magical things. What would be your sort of short bucket list to get things dirty? So that's what's also great about BB-8 is because it's round, it's not a complex kind of structure like an R2, that you can make this out of anything you want just about. There's people that have taken beach balls and put um, paper mache on it and then painted them. They've, they've gotten styrofoam balls that they've painted themselves. Um, there's this one, there's this way we can 3D print it. What's also nice about the three, and you can build it at any scale too. It doesn't have to be this big. You can make it smaller if you want. Um, you can buy like styrofoam balls at your local craft shop, for example, and make a little BB-8 from scratch yourself out of that. Um, in, in fact, with 3D printing, you don't have to print them out at 100%. You can print them out at a smaller scale too to practice with or if you have a smaller printer. Wow. Thank you so much, Brian, for walking us through this, uh, this awesome build. And You're we welcome. look forward to seeing it in motion perhaps yeah, it next be, year. It should be soon. Thank you. Thank you.